Wow, okay, these are incredible. Oh my god. Six months ago, I did this video here, where I used my journey to reimagine what my animated short film out of the box could look like if it was made by a machine. Today, six months later, and I think around three major updates later, I will be doing it again just to see how much my journey has improved. The previous video was sort of me against my journey. This video, it's my journey against my journey. So there's a lot of pressure that has been removed from myself. Today I will not be giving you as much context as I did on the previous video, but basically I use my journey to generate characters, to create some concept art, and to create some backgrounds. And I really explain how the visual development stage in animation works. This film here, it's about a mime who dreams of becoming a clown. His mother mime doesn't want him to be a clown, and she gets very upset when he betrays his family in order to follow his dream. And I will say that the assets that we were able to generate back then, they were fun or funny. Not really sure which one of the two, but for sure they were not great. And I had a few takeaways or a few conclusions back then that I want to revise today. One, the lack of control that I had over what I was generating. I had to do a lot of prompting, a lot of guesswork. It was basically a box of surprises. Two, the lack of cohesiveness between the designs that were generated. In animation, it's very important to have consistency and we were not getting that. And no, that mid journey look, because you know there was a mid journey look, does not count as cohesive. And I'm gonna add a third actually, which is also back then mid journey had had a really hard time when it had to generate faces, anatomy, hands, and anything cute. So let's see how all those things have changed and if they have improved today. First, I want to start by redoing the same exact prompts that I used six months ago, and then I'm gonna use the new commands and features to see if I can get as close as I want to my vision. We're gonna start with Miles. Here's my little friend here, Miles, my son. And also, before we had a little mood board. I did a mood board so we knew what we were looking for. I had some Pinas and Ferb here, I had some Hanna-Barbera. As you can tell, these characters are very geometric, very strong use of shapes, they're very stylized, very bold. These here are the prompts that I used back then to generate Miles, and then below them, you can see the results we got. Now let's quickly see what we get today if we just run the exact same prompts. Wow. Okay, I mean, these are already next level. Back then, I did try to keep my prompts pretty simple because a lot of times you would add a lot of words and that would only confuse the algorithm and it would prioritize certain things, forget other things, or give you something completely random. I know that has gotten better. The Cartoon Network ones, they feel very villain-esque. They feel very Tim Burton. So that's not what we're looking for, but again, it has had a lot of improvement when it comes to understanding what a cartoon or an illustration is, and the anatomy, it's much, much better. I'm going to upscale my favorite one on each one of them. Here they are. And now let's compare them with our previous generations. Huge improvement, which excites me and also scares me a lot. Well, even though the new ones are mostly just torsos, look at these arms. Um... And now look at these, you know, like, these make sense. I would say the same for the face anatomy. These have very structured faces. Now let's see what we can do with the new features with a better prompt. So let's start by trying this mode here. It's called Niji mode, a mode that's specifically for cartoons or illustrations. I'm gonna activate it. Great. I'm going to use... Okay, let's use the same prompt again. But I'm going to add with a bread, which is the mime hat, brown curly hair, and big eyes. All right, I can see the sadness coming in. <laughs> um, wow, okay, this is very anime. Very, very anime. Um, so I guess it didn't really listen to the Venus and Ferb part of the prompt, but it did the sadness a lot of justice, I will say. I love these tears here. And there's no question that it is way better understanding text. Let's use Upscale version 3, that looks cute, reminds me a little bit of the style of Gravity Falls or Steven Universe, but this is not what we're looking for. So let's get up Niji mode, and let's use the Remix feature. This feature wasn't a thing six months ago, and trust me, this is the biggest game changer that Mid Journey has added. I don't even think Dali has something like that yet. I'll explain as we go, but we're gonna start by taking this image here that I liked where it was going, and we're gonna remix it. What does that mean? Basically, that means that when we request variations from it, instead of the algorithm doing whatever it wants with it, we're gonna be able to modify the prompt. You know, we could like add, we can remove, we can tweak, and this new prompt window pops up. We have Sad Mime in Phoenix and Fur. We're gonna be using it a lot today. This is gonna be our standard style we're going for. And I'm going to add, with a big beret, brown hair sticking out, 
big expressive eyes but we're not gonna stop there we're gonna make our prompt even more specific by adding more sentences and weights to those sentences and basically the weights are gonna tell the algorithm what sentences or what words to prioritize colon colon five after our main sentence and now let's add some words regarding the style i'm gonna say character design i think that's gonna be a really good guide for what we're looking for I'm gonna say Disney, 2D animation, and now I'm going to add another weight, which is colon colon 3, and now I'm going to add another part to the prompt. This part is going to be the negation part, which means we're gonna tell Midjourney the things that we do not want in our image. And now we do colon colon and minus 2. So the minus means we do not want this. And while that cooks, let's talk about weights. Um, I do think they existed back then when I did the other video in July, but back then they were a lot more primitive. And also I didn't know how to use Midjourney. It was my first time using it. Um, prompting is a skill. I know someone read me for that on the previous video. Here's that comment. Thank you. Yes, now I have done my homework and I know prompting a little bit better. And it sounds like our creation's ready. So let's take a look at it. <laughs> wow, okay, these are incredible. Oh my God. This is the best thing we've had so far. And from an animation perspective, or a 2D animation perspective, because hypothetically, you know, we're doing this to create a 2D animated film. This has too much shading and details, but I love it. I think it's beautiful, and I hate that I love it. Let's keep improving it. And that's the cool thing about remixing. You can just keep remixing and remixing and remixing. I sound like a, like a DJ right now. So let's just be DJs in mid-journey, right? Here's our prompt window, and we're going to add flat 2d animation geometric because i wanted my characters to have very bold shapes and features and silhouettes stylized anatomy and i think something that's gonna help a lot to get what we want it's to negate 3d cool okay i mean we can definitely see it's less 3d now look at the features they're a lot more angular. Look at the jaw on the top right one. So yes, I'm very happy with this upgrade. I definitely think our prompt really took the character to the next level. Remember, we started with this and now we're here. I could keep going as well, but we have more characters to do and a few concept art pieces that I would like to get to. So let's upscale version three. This is our new Miles. This is our previous Miles and the images speak for themselves. This is beautiful, this is amazing, this was like creepy and like it needed a lot of work. This still needs work, but it's still a very solid concept. Anyway, time to do the mom. Here are the previous prompts and designs that we did six months ago. And now let's run the same prompts again. Okay, I don't know what happened in the middle one. I mean, I guess that prompt didn't say cartoon anywhere, so it just created a very realistic, creepy character. But the other two show a lot of improvement in the cartoon aspect. Also, the one on the right, it's not a demon anymore, which makes me very, very happy because it was so creepy. I was like, why does this look like it's possessed and it's gonna jump out of the screen to kill me? Now let's try Niji mode with the prompt short old female mime in Cartoon Network. We've got a cute Harley Quinn <laughs> and again more anime and we love a good anime but that's not what we're looking for today. So I'm going to retire Niji mode and now I'm just gonna do a regular prompt. So I'm gonna copy the prompt that I used for Miles with all the weights and negations and everything and that's going to be our base style and let's see if by using that we will be able to get a more cohesive character lineup. And then we're gonna add our first sentence which is going to be grumpy old lady with striped shirt and a beret in, you guessed it, Phineas and fur style. We're leaving the rest as it is, because we're trying to see if by doing this, we're gonna get a very cohesive style. Fingers crossed we will, or fingers crossed we won't. I don't know which one I want. And let's hit enter. Mm, maybe we can work it out. I'm gonna remix the first design. Sure, I don't think all hope is lost. Let's upskill version two. And let's compare our previous design with our new one. Huge improvement. I mean, this is a lady, this is a human, this is a cartoon. The previous thing, I don't know what that was. But I am glad we're seeing improvement. Um, sure, I guess, I'm glad. Let's quickly do our last two characters, which are the clowns. Here are the original prompts and generations. And now let's draw the exact same prompt again today. 
magic. You guys are gonna get tired of me saying this, but yes, there's a huge improvement. Out of all the things we have generated today, these clowns, they have a great sense of anatomy. And now it's time to take the standard prompt, that it's our style, and apply it to the clowns. Let's paste that here, and let's say too friendly, because we want our clowns to be friendly and nice, not scary. Cute clowns, one short, one tall, very round and colorful, in Venus and Ferb style. Mm. Yeah, this looks very off in comparison to the mom and Miles. So I'm gonna go ahead and run it a few times. Yeah, and we're not getting any closer. We're using the same quote-unquote style and then just changing the opening line. And these are so far off from our previous generations. But you know what, I'm gonna give up and I'm going to upscale this one here. And now let's look at our new character lineup and compare it to our previous character lineup. And yes, I will say that even though two of the new ones are just torsos, the evolution is insane. I love the design of Miles. The mom isn't as great, but we could argue they exist in the same world. The clowns do not. But we can't deny that they're still way better than the previous ones. Now let's briefly try to do some concept art. And personally, I like to do concept art of the most iconic scenes of the film. These are just ways of exploring potential looks, but they don't need to be so strict. This is the piece that I try to recreate in Mid Journey. This is my version. And then here you can see what Mid Journey generated. This was creepy as hell. There's not even anything cartoon here. But you know what? It's fine. Let's just run the same prompt again today. Okay, whoa, I'm impressed because at least this time around, it really captured the emotion and the energy. Look at how happy and excited all these clowns are. So for starters, I'm very impressed with the emotion this is getting to capture. And I love the bottom left one. It's very stylized. It has a really cool palette. I'm going to add the other sentences. Colon, colon, five. So we add the weight to the first sentence. And then I'm going to add concept art, pastels, charcoals, colorful, Disney style. And then colon colon three, we don't want CG, 3D, boring, blurry. And then colon colon minus two. Oh, and something that I always forget, it's that we can change the aspect ratio of our generations. So let's do dash dash AR, which stands for aspect ratio. Let's do 16 by nine, so we can get a horizontal piece. And I mean, it's not perfect. A lot of the emotions the other ones had got lost here, but the environment, I think it's really cool and really there. And I would have gone for something like this. So let's upscale the bottom right one. Yes, and this is cute. I mean, there's definitely some messed up anatomy. I mean, not some, there's a lot of messed up anatomy. Like, look at the double arms, look at these hands here. But it's colorful, it can inform the look of the film, the vibe of the film. And it even has like little details that I think are very nice. I mean, look at how cute that little painting in the back is. I think that's a very nice touch. So yeah, congrats AI, you, you're doing good things. And before we get to our final concept art, I would like to remind you that I don't only make AI videos. So if you like art or if you like animation, feel free to check out the rest of my channel. I invite you to do so. And if you're enjoying this video, make sure you hit the like button and subscribe to the channel. And now let's get to our very final concept art. This was my design. This was the old prompt and the old generation. It was interesting. <laughs> <laughs> Let's run the same prompt again. And it's not what I had in mind, but it definitely conveys the reflection part better. It feels like a more complete piece. I'm gonna take the previous prompt, but then let's expand it. So I'm gonna add the weight to it. And now let's say Pixar, concept art, colorful, pastels, um, traditional media, because I love traditional media. Very geometric, another weight, cinematic, stylized and then we're gonna negate what we don't want. So I'm gonna say 3D, CG, anime, and then blurry, generic, boring. And then colon, colon, minus two. Okay, I will say all these have a lot of potential. I really like the two on the right. So you know what, I'm just gonna quickly play with those two. On the top, you can see the respective prompts. Basically, they're pretty much the same. I just changed a few little words. And now looking at these through the lens of, you know, concept art and the purpose of concept art, I think each one of these two have great things 
going for them. This one here does a great job when it comes to the environment and the setting. It has a lot of details that really sell the background and makes it believable. You can see all the little bottles on the vanity, which could be paint, could be makeup. It shows that the place has been used and has a purpose. Um, I love the little paintings in the back. You know, it shows that this is a place that someone lives in. And then we have this one here, which even though the background is not as developed, this captures the energy and the feeling and the mood that I was looking for. It feels like a very intimate moment. It definitely struggles with the hands still to this day, but I mean, it's fine. We're gonna check again in six months. You look at my original piece in comparison to these two, I think these two capture what I was originally looking for, not necessarily in the same style, but again, concept art, it's not about getting the style perfect. It's sort of like finding something that will inform your film. Now let's review the three things I talked to in the beginning regarding my conclusion from the previous video. When it comes to lack of control on what I was getting, this time around, yes, we got a lot more control, especially with the remix feature. That's definitely a game changer. Like our design is now super cohesive. Do they all look like they belong in the same world? Based on our character lineup, because the concept part, we were not looking for cohesiveness there. I think it's not there yet. I definitely think it needs improvement. And lastly, regarding anatomy, cuteness, and hands. Well, it definitely got better when it comes to anatomy. Much better. It definitely got better at making things look cute and pretty and cartoony instead of creepy. But it still struggles with hands. So at least there's something AI still cannot do well. And with that, I conclude today's video. Thank you so much for watching. If you did enjoy this video and you want to see me messing more with AI, here's a playlist. I imagine my own Pixar movie. I imagine a Wednesday Christmas movie. I recreated famous album covers using AI. A lot of AI. Anyway, I'll see you in the next one.